hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will see sections of solid problem number fifth okay in this what they have given is a cone of base diameter 50 mm and axis is also same 50 mm is resting on its base on hp so whenever problem is given you have to see how it is resting by base it is resting where it is resting on hp it is resting by its base this is very important till here to here we will try to complete the question then further we will see rest of the part okay so first what you need to do where true shape of the base is visible that view you have to draw so cone is there like this it is resting on hp so from top if you see you can see the circle and if you see from the front you can see the height okay so let us see top view cone will be having a circle of radius 25 millimeter so diameter comes to be 50 millimeter so here we have drawn is cone base whose diameter is 50 mm now what we will do we will draw xy line then we will project this axis height is also 50 mm so this is diameter 50 mm is already came now center point is this one you project this center point on xy line and from here from this point you take 50 mm vertically upward so here is the 50 axis line is long line short line then you join this apex point to these two ends okay this is front view and top view of a cone completed now cone is a curved surface we don't have any extra points if it is a pentagon or hexagon shape we will be having corners so that we will get other points here to get points we will be drawing or we will be dividing this circular base into either 8 or 12 equal number of parts so that we can get some extra points so either you can take this and with the help of this one one point here then another point here you can draw then one point here another point here you can draw so you will be getting like that 12 points you will be getting or else you can do with this protractor direct 12 points or 8 points with that method you will be getting 12 points here if you want 8 points take 45 degree or if you want 12 points take 30 60 so i will be going with 12 parts so 30 60 again 60 30 okay like this 90 point already access is there so 1 2 3 4 points we have kept i hope the points are visible this is very light color points i have taken thin line i have used if you are unable to see no issue you can follow the procedure what i have said you now with the help of either scale or you take this mini drafter join this point with center so i am joining this point with the center so here is 30 degree point and this is the center join only here up to this one now this is perpendicular to this one so automatically if you bring your minute after scale here it will match with the 60 degree point so just draw another line then align with this point and it will come here so what i have done is 12 parts i have done so numbering you can start from here and in this direction you have to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 sorry 11 and then this is 
12. So the same points we will project here and center is O dash. Sorry, O here. O dash will be in the front view. Here, this projectors we have to take in the front view of the constructed points. 2 and 12 will be in one line. This is 11. 2, 12 will be in one line. You have to project here. 3, 11 will be in one line. That also you have to project. 5, 9, 6, 8. Okay. Then join this 1, 2, 3, 4 points with the apex. So here it is got completed. Now this numbers 1 to 12 that also you have to write in the front view. So how this 1 is here that will be 1 dash. This 2 is here 2 dash. This 3 goes here 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash and 7 dash. Then after 6 back side if you go you have 8. So here after 7 back side you go 6 behind 8, 5 behind 9, you can see here also 5 behind 9, 4 behind 10, here comes 11, 2, 12, that's all and 1 and 7 are single point, no other. So this is how we have completed till here. Now what they are saying is it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and incline at 75 degree to HP. This is important. Okay. So you have this cone whose top view is a circle and front view is a triangle. It is cut by a cutting plane. Okay. I assume this is a cutting plane. Cutting plane is parallel to HP and with respect to HP it is how much? 75 degree to HP. So with respect to HP it is inclined 75 degree. Okay. If you are taking like this, this is 0 degree to HP, if you take like this, so here it is making some angle. So that angle is how much? 75 degree is the cutting plane like this, okay. And passing through from where it is cutting, passing through the apex. So from center top point, the apex, this is called apex, from there the cutting plane should pass and should make 75 degree with the HP. So what do you do? You set this <coughs> scale to 75 degree like this then pass it with the apex so what I will do first with the help of protractor I will mark you take any point here or here also you can take not an issue just I am getting a 75 degree angle so here is the 70 75 so if you take this point and this point it will be treated as 75 degree line. Now this is set to be a 75 degree line. So this line should pass through apex. So at apex you keep this scale and take a line. So from this point to this point it is passing through got it now what you need to do is you need to project the same thing in the top view this is your x x dash cutting plane so when cutting plane is touching to the base here you project it down vertically and take the points on the base if this cutting plane is cutting on the generators like this then take the point on these generators i will show you First point is, this is point number 3, if you can see carefully, just adjacent to left of point 3, this cutting plane is touching. So from there we have to take a projector like this. So here is one point, here is the another point, where cutting plane touches the base. Rest of the points is on generator, no issues. You if you if you are skipping that no issues it is passing through the apex so apex means 
in the top view this is the apex so join this point with this point and this point you will be getting the required section in the top view so i will do that so this point is just adjacent to 3 here also you can see this is your section what you are getting in the top view in this new bonded area we will be doing hatching first i will make visible lines darker one then we will go for hatching part so this is how visible lines whatever lines you need to do dark in the exam those lines i have done with the sketch okay now what you do hatching you have to do hatching line should be drawn at 45 degree equi space the space can be approximately 2 to 2 millimeters so here i am setting this minute after at 45 degree so if you take any horizontal line like this xy line to this line if you join or set 7 7 or any two same number then it will be set at 45 degree so here comes hatching lines this is all about hatching now what do you need to do we have drawn front view completed sectional top view is also completed now we have to draw true shape of the section true shape of the section we need to draw why because from the top if you see this one we are able actual shape is from here to here this point to this point that will be visible from this side but if you see from the top this total length from here to here it is getting reduced and it is getting this much only but actual length is this one so that we will be seeing from this side so that we will be able to see the true shape of the section so for that we need to take parallel to this cutting plane another x line we have to draw parallel to this line any distance you can take only the thing is that line should not touch to either this corner or this corner of the front view So for this you can give name x dash y dash okay so here what you do you project you project this points on this line so how to do that i'll show you again i have set this cutting plane parallel line here now this point we will project here and extend up to certain length this point apex point also project and extend up to certain length any distance it can be now it's very simple from previous xy line to this first point you measure that is this distance just measure with the scale if your distance is small then it is difficult to come measure with the compass so here it is a approximately 10 or 11 mm so same thing i will be taking here approximate 11 mm it is there this first point from here we have measured and in this direction we have transferred from here you have to transfer and then second point we will be measuring from x y line to this point it is approximately again 52 millimeter and from this line not from here from this line you have to transfer so 52 millimeter as i said approximate distance i will be transferring here so this is the another point two points these two points we have transferred like this from this xy line we have measured and from this xy line we have transferred then apex point xy line to apex is approximately 32 millimeter and that same thing you can take 32 millimeter approximately from this xy line so it will come somewhere here or else midpoint of this two will be where this center point okay anyway you join all of them so this is the true shape of the section here also you need to do hatching all those things i will make it dark quickly and set it to 45 degree 
from the previous section lines we will set it again at 45 degree and we will be drawing hatching lines in this So this is your O suffix 1, here you give some other numbers like A or B, so that will be, this is B suffix 1, A is far, so here also A suffix 1 will be far. So front view, dash will be coming, for top view no dash and for true shape of the section suffix 1 you can put and for side views you can put double dashes okay this is all related to this problem if you have any doubts please comment it and don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching everyone